Yat eh na na Beauty Weavers here. Tato and not a heko Nijonako at oi. I put that in Navajo. Tato, but not a heko. What an amazing something that is really um, uh, something that you never saw or something that's really amazing to you. You call it out of a not a heko Nijonak. Beautiful. Out of the nut, there he go in the jungle. A boy is God's expert weaver. He is he is something that I can imagine uh, seeing God at a maybe at a weaving thing, and there there he's weaving and um, he's weaving us into uh, and molding us to a really really interesting person for him to go out and be be that that be that beautiful color for Jesus. Whether it's song, whether it's preaching, whether it's teaching, whether you, whatever you want to be as a teacher or however you want to be, God wove you in a, in a very beautiful, special way when you were born. And, and he, he, he wove us in the, in the womb. He knew us from the beginning. And so, um, wow, I can't imagine how awesome God is being, uh, uh, being with a, a sense of being into a, a beauty weaver. Beauty weavers, but quite hot stems are out of the hours now. Quite hot something beautiful, those people that make those beautiful things that includes arts and crafts, the language, the culture, everything is involved in being a beautiful weaver. Tejedores o tejedoras de belleza. There's a lot going on in this translation. You have the verb tejer which, yeah, it means to knit, or it can mean to weave. But when I, when I read that or I hear it, I think of putting something together, connecting it. And there's two names for it, tejedor, tejedora, the masculine and the feminine. And it's plural with the S's. That means that we all have to be tejedores or tejedoras. De belleza, the second word, which belleza, bella, all of those words rooted in Latin. Bell, for instance, from Beauty and the Beast, the beauty is beauty, belleza. And when you, when you think of beauty, we all need to be a, a knitter or a weaver that puts together beauty. Weaving is an essential part of many cultures in Northwest New Mexico and Northeast Arizona. It is a practice that is rooted in functionality, but also in immense beauty. Rugs here will sell for thousands and thousands of dollars. And so we want our students to know that beauty weaving is not just something that happens here in this context, but it's something that God calls them to that he has created us to be, be creative like he is. And he wants us to do that, not just in boring and plain and practical ways, but in beautiful ways. That's what I think Beauty Weavers means. I was out at the trek one August morning and I happened to see this beautiful web that was made over this trash can. So the, 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 the spider head I mean, the way that they had built their web was just amazing. It had been, first they had to kind of put strings across one way and then the, the web another way so that it fit just right over that trash can and it was catching the sunlight and it was beautiful, but it was in this horribly gross place. You know, it was the top of this trash can and the smell coming from the trash can was there. But this, I immediately thought of this beauty weaver idea because the spider had made this perfect and amazing web, taking the time to really get it in there just right. And in the midst of this chaotic and smelly place, they had made their best work. And the idea behind that was just so beautiful and so neat because that's what we want to do. We want to take things from our environment, which may not always be perfect. And we may not have the things that we want right away, but 
if we work um, with others, if we work with God, we can take those, those elements and we can make something more beautiful because of that. And that's the idea behind this painting.